never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. This way, all vault participants! Take the bag! Who cares? Just help me pack it up! Like we're supposed to. Yeah. Oh. There you are, you little bitch. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. I could probably help for a few caps extra. Just had to push, didn't you? Fifty caps. Take it or leave it. What do you need help with? Uh, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. <clears throat> That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. That's done. Just listen to her go. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Deathclaw and Concord was bad news, huh, Mama? 
You ever seen one of those suckers before? Oh, sure, plenty. One time, I killed a death claw all by myself. No power armor and fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol and one bullet. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on, what do you take me for? It's true, I might not look it. But back in the day, I had quite the shot. Yeah, or quite the imagination. We had a deal. Trudy, hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now, don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scabber. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now, hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here. That's everything I have. Now get the hell out of here. Both of you. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave. Just my goddamn luck. here for today's free biology lesson? Sure. Sounds fun. Yes! Love that enthusiasm! Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of... Sheng, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Chang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Want to help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Shang, why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey, once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. 
I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go up. You there. I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before, when... You got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. Yeah. Pretty pathetic, right? You first. I'll back you up. Okay, but don't leave me hanging. Even I might have trouble taking them all out by myself. What's that? Uh, you don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. Give me a reason not to kill you. I'll tell Moroski it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Moroski's chem lab. This here, <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Keep talking. Where do you think these chems come from? We've got a lab right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. Easy access by boat? Smart. Right. My idea, by the way. As was putting it in an area overrun by feral ghouls and then recruiting an old ghoul crew to run it. Pretty slick. But I assume that's not the end of it. You assume, right? The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. Sounds like a pretty secure operation. You better believe it. And if Cook hadn't been such a backstabbing son of a bitch, nobody would have ever cracked it. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? And you promise not to tell Murawski that I had anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. After I leave here, I've never heard of you in my life. The password is Applejack. There! Now you've got everything, and I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. 